Hello, this is Kelly Marie Alvarez from Lawn Fawn, and I'm so excited to be creating a magic picture changer card here today for scrapbook.com in honor of National Scrapbook Day. So let's go ahead and get crafting. So here I've got out my magic picture changer die, the butterfly kisses stamp set, extra amazing Easter, and rain or shine stamp sets. And we're going to combine all of these to make a really cool interactive card. But the first thing we need to do is we need to create some masks. And so we're going to do that by stamping our bunny here on a post-it note. And this is a full stick post-it note, meaning the whole thing is covered with stickiness. You can also use a masking paper as well. And so we're going to stamp on that post-it note, and then we're going to cut along the black line of the image. This is going to create a mask that's going to protect our image from stamping and from inking. As you can see on the other stamp sets, I'm kind of storing my masks there. So the cool thing is, is once you create a mask, you can use it over and over again. So my favorite thing to do is to stick it to my stamp set so that it's ready to use the next time I want to craft. So I'm going to stick him there and we're going to be stamping that bunny in just a second. I've trimmed down two pieces of white cardstock and they're going to be the two pieces of our magic picture changer. So we're going to create one scene in this bigger one that's going to change to a different scene in the smaller one. And first we're going to work on the scene in the bigger one, which is the first scene that you see on your card before you pull it and reveal the second scene. And we're going to stamp those clouds from rain or shine there. And then we're going to take some smiley faces from the Be Happy stamp set. So I wanted some grumpy faces, and this set has some really cute grumpy faces. So we're going to stamp that in these clouds so that they look like storm clouds. So I've got two different kind of grumpy faces, and I love that Be Happy stamp set because I can use those faces on so many different cards. Now I'm going to peel off that mask, and I had stamped and cut that one on a previous card, and now I get to use it again, which is super cool. And so we're going to cover up those clouds. Once we line that right up, the stickiness of the post-it note is going to hold them perfectly in place so that we can stamp our bunny. So we want the bunny's ear to be behind the clouds. So we're going to stamp the bunny, and then when we peel up that mask, you're going to see how we have this cool one-layer area. Now I'm going to take another mask there with this cute little sitting bunny there from Butterfly Kisses, and we're going to cover him up with the mask too. And then we're going to do a little bit more stamping. So we're going to stamp a little piece of grass from that same stamp set, and then we're going to stamp the raindrops from Rain or Shine. And we're going to stamp those in some manatee ink, which is a nice light gray ink, which is going to give to that whole stormy feel of the card. And because we have everything covered up with the masks, the raindrops are going to look like they're behind the characters when we stamp them. And once we have those raindrops in perfect placement, we can start working on the sky. And so I love using minty fresh ink for skies. It's this really subtle, beautiful color. And I'm going to be using one of the Picket Fence Blender brushes, and I love these things so much. You could also use a foam ink blending tool. I'm going to pick up a little of the ink and go at my card there in circular motion, starting off of the piece of cardstock and moving my way on, building up that color. And because we have those masks over everything, they're being protected from this ink and making that sky look look like it's in the background. As we build this color up, I'm going to take my magic picture changer and look through that viewfinder that's in the die and kind of see how I like the scene, how it's looking. I wanted to add a little bit more darkness to there, so I'm going to build up that color a little bit more. And then we're going to do my favorite part, and that's removing these masks. It always feels like one of those makeover shows, right? You're revealing what you did. So we're going to reveal these cute little characters, and the coolest part is going to be when we peel off those clouds there. You're going to see how the bunny's ear is behind the clouds, and I think that looks so super cool. Next, I'm going to use my Copic markers to add some colors to these images, and my favorite way to color bunnies is this E53, E51 combo. I think it's because that's the color of the bunnies in my neighborhood. I decided to add in the E50 there just to keep it nice and light since this whole scene is very pastel looking. And then we're going to add a little warm gray and blend it out with the colorless blender just to give those clouds a little color and really make them look like storm clouds. And then we'll add a little green to that grass. Now the Magic Picture Changer die has this awesome viewfinder window, and that's what your scene's going to look like once we create the whole card. So I'm going to line up the bunny in the clouds exactly how I want it to look in the viewfinder, hold it in place with some post-it note low-tack tape, and run it through the die cut machine, and I'm going to have the first piece of my Magic Picture Changer. Now we're going to start to work on the second scene, and this is going to have the happy bunny with rainbows. So I'm going to stamp that standing bunny and then use that mask that we cut at the beginning to cover him up and protect him. And then we're going to stamp the rainbow and sun, which is one of my favorite images ever from the Rain or Shine stamp set. And once again, by stamping on top of this mask, it's going to make it look like the rainbow is behind the bunny, which is a really super cool look. And so here you see we're going to peel up that mask, and look how fun and adorable that is. 
So next up, we're going to stamp some smiley faces, and those are included in the Rain or Shine stamp set in both the sun and the cloud. And then here's when I realized I needed to put my mask back on. I got so excited to see what it was going to look like. I forgot that I didn't want to remove it just yet. So we're going to layer that bunny on, and then I'm going to take the cloud and sun one that I have and layer that on top as well. And we're going to create the background the same as the original one. And I like that consistency between the two backgrounds. It's going to give some continuity between the two scenes. So we'll use that blending brush, pick up some of that minty fresh ink and build that color up until it looks perfect and until it matches the first scene that we created. Now it's time to remove the masks for real this time and you can see how cute that's looking. And then we're going to use Copic markers again to add color and we're going to use that same color combination since it's the same bunny going from sitting to standing. So we added a little pink for the ears and you can see I'm adding my darkest areas where I want there to be shadow, blending it out with the medium and then out into the rest of the image with my lightest marker. And you can see just how cute he's looking. Really quick and easy way to do Copic coloring that looks super, super nice. Next, we need to add some color to the rainbow. So we're going to do some traditional red, orange, yellow, green, and then blue. Um, and we're going to add a little bit of blue to the clouds and blend that out with the colorless blender and then create a nice, bright, happy yellow sun. And now we're going to use the second piece, which is the moving piece of our magic picture changer. And we're going to use that same viewfinder window. And we're going to use that window to set up our scene. And you can see there how I've got the sort of bottom part of the bunny cut off. And that's okay because you're looking at a little picture, right? A little piece of the scene. And so having parts of it cut off actually ends up looking really, really cool when you build the whole card. Now that both pieces are stamped and colored and cut, we can start to form the magic picture changer. So we're going to work with that larger pocket piece and the die creates some score lines for you. And there's one right in the center there. And so we're going to fold along that score line and we're going to use our bone folder to make that a nice sharp crease. The next step that we need to do is we need to fold those tabs in. So there's a tab on the top and the bottom. I'm going to start in the center and push out to the outside to kind of start that fold. And then I'll push down a little bit more to really crease it and then use the bone folder to finish it up. So I'm going to start in the middle and push out and then push down just a little bit more to really crease it. And then once again, use my bone folder to give it a nice sharp fold. Next, I'm going to take my 1 8 inch double sided tape and we're going to be adding tape to both sides of both of the tabs for a total of four pieces of tape. So we're going to run that piece of tape there on the inside of the tab on the top and then we're going to run it on the inside of the other tab. And then we'll repeat that on the outside of the pocket piece. So we're going to flip our piece over and then add the tape to the outside of those two tabs. So we'll add it to the top one and then we can flip the whole piece around and add it to the other tab. Once both tabs have adhesive on either side, we're going to take our whole magic picture changer and we're going to be flipping it over and adhering those two tabs to the inside. And the reason we're doing this is that's going to create a track for our moving piece to move in, keeping it nice and straight. So here we're going to flip it over, then we can peel up that liner paper and attach those tabs to the inside of this pocket piece. So we'll do that on both tabs there. We'll remove the liner paper, and then we'll attach that tab as well to the inside of this magic picture changer pocket piece. Next, we're gonna take a powder tool and we're gonna run it along the inside of this card, all along those two tabs to make sure there isn't any stickiness left over from that tape. And also on those little tab things that you see there. And we're gonna do that on the back and the front on both of our pieces. And the reason for this is that powder reduces the friction between the two pieces of paper and helps them move really smoothly. So it's a nice little trick that really will make your magic picture changer move. Next, we're gonna be inserting the moving piece. And you'll see that there's a little opening in the center of that pocket and we're gonna attach that moving piece in there. There's four slots in the moving piece and four little tabby thingies there on the main pocket piece. And those are gonna line up. So we're gonna put our first tab into our first slot, just like that. And then we'll go second tab, second slot, third tab, and then fourth tab. And you'll see how those will move. So I'm going to show you that nice and close up. So we're going to take that first tab and we're going to put it right into the first slot. And then just like a little basket weaver, we're going to go second tab, third tab, third slot, fourth tab, fourth slot. And now you can see how those two pieces are going to change. Next, we'll open up our pocket piece and we want to make sure that that moving piece is exactly between those two tabs that we glued there earlier. So you'll see there, you don't want it touching those tabs. You want to make sure it's right in between, not touching either one of those tabs that we glued down. Once that's in perfect placement, we can remove the liner paper on both of those tabs. 
So you'll see we're going to remove that. Now we've got our picture changer piece exactly between them. And now we can fold that pocket piece over like a book and attach the whole thing. And that's going to form this really cool magic picture changer. We need to create a stopper so that that tab piece doesn't just slide right out the bottom. And so we're going to take out the really rainbow scallops paper there and we're going to die cut it with that little stopper piece. And that's included in the magic picture changer die. And it creates a little score line for you in the center. So you're going to fold that in the center. And then we're going to add some tape all along the inside of this piece. The cool thing about this piece is it's got that cute little arrow which is going to tell the recipient that there's something really cool that they need to do with the card. But the other thing that it does is form a natural stopper. So you're going to see when we push this down, that piece of paper there is going to keep that whole piece from just sliding out the bottom. It creates a nice stopper and creates really cool movement in the card. Now to decorate the front of this, we're going to be using the Magic Picture Changer add-on and we're going to cut it from that same pattern paper. There's a special way to put adhesive on this and that's from corner to corner on all four corners and then on both of the shorter sides. The reason we're not putting adhesive anywhere else is we don't want that adhesive to get in the way of the moving mechanism of this interactive card. So now we can layer this on top and you'll see how cute it is when that happy little bunny gets framed by that pattern paper and now you can see the movement between the two scenes happening. Next up, we're going to stamp our sentiment. So we're going to stamp after every storm right onto the magic picture changer. Then for the rest of the sentiment is going to say there is a rainbow. And so we're going to die cut from the fancy wavy banners there, the little stitched banner, and we're going to be stamping on this. And so we want to curve the sentiment to match the curve of that die cut. So you can see there, I'm going to put my block right over the die cut and then curve my stamp to match that curve of that whole die cut piece. And that's one of the really cool things about clear stamps is that you can curve them to match whatever kind of look you're going for. So we're going to stamp that out in some guava ink. And now we're going to take the rainy backdrop in the portrait style and die cut some mermaid cardstock. And so this rain background is going to look so cute with this whole theme that we have going on. I also have some pixie dust sparkle cardstock and this stuff is gorgeous and it looks amazing behind those little raindrops there because it makes them nice and sparkly. So I'm going to cut down about a quarter of an inch off each side of this rainy backdrop because I wanted my card to be a little bit smaller than the standard size. Then I will add some liquid glue behind the whole thing and we can layer it onto that beautiful pixie dust sparkle cardstock and I just love that beautiful shininess. It's just so gorgeous. Then we can add that whole background piece to a card base that's the same size that I've cut out of some white cardstock. So we'll just add some tape runner right onto that card base and we can add that beautiful rainy backdrop to the back. I've cut a piece of guava cardstock to go along with that pretty pink sentiment that we stamped and we just created a little tiny skinny eighth inch border all the way around the magic picture changer. Then we're going to add a bunch of foam squares to the back. I always like to add foam squares to the back of my magic picture changers when I put them on my card base because that way it's really easy for the recipient to get their fingers in there to be able to pull that tab. We'll add some foam squares to the back of the banner and then we're going to layer that banner a little bit over the window so that it looks like the bunny is either sitting or standing on top of that banner piece. And the card is all done and it is so super cute. How sweet is this card? If someone was having a tough day, this would just make them smile. I could play with one of these magic picture changer cards all day. They just bring me so much joy and they're so much fun to make. I especially love the idea of combining the Magic Picture Changer with a bunch of different stamp sets in your stash and creating really cool and fun scenes like this. I also want to thank Nicole for inspiring me to make this card, so thank you so much, Nicole. I can't wait to see what kind of awesome Magic Picture Changer ideas you guys have, so make sure to share them with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!